Welcome to Power Plus Mobility's educational session. Today we'll be talking about the various cylinders that we use on our tilt chairs. Uh, there are different types of weight capacities um, on chairs and hence we switch out the cylinders depending on the weight of the client or where the center of gravity is positioned on the client. Our standard tilt that we use on our STP and our extreme is 200 pounds and 500 pounds. So take for example, when the client is coming down, there's a 200 pound cylinder of resistance that doesn't let them drop straight to the bottom gives them a smooth transition from that 0 to 55 degrees of tilt. And the 500 pound cylinder, which helps push the client up, allows for a smooth tilting upward momentum where a caregiver that perhaps is caring for multiple users on the floor has a consistent tilt uh, strength up and down for the end users that they're caring for. So let's start by taking a look at what a cylinder looks like. So this is a typical cylinder that we are using um, and uh, on the cylinder we have a very critical component which is called the cylinder head and the cylinder head attaches to the cylinder on one side and once we have those two components attached here we then mount it to the chair. Once we mount it to the chair, the next step is to attach the cable assembly, which allows for the trigger mechanism on the cylinder head to engage back and forth, and, um, and we're able to tilt the chair in from zero to 55 degrees of tilt. Our cylinder cables look something like this. So there's two heads to the cylinder cable. Uh, there's your initial cable which is mounted to the trigger mechanism up towards the stroller bars and your split cables here mount to either the two or 400 pound cylinder which is a standard cylinder that we use on our chips. Depending on weight capacities, we do change the cylinders for somebody who is perhaps above 250 pounds up to a maximum of 400 pounds uh, with a cylinder of 400 pounds and 500 pounds. And those are the standard cylinders that we use on our tilt chairs. If you look at, this, uh, at the um, cables that I'm showing you here, uh, you'll notice that there is no brake adjustment in through the cable, but yet the adjustment is done in through the, uh, the cable head, uh, in through here, we're able to adjust the tension of the cylinder. So it makes it very easy to install and adjust the tension of the actual cylinder. Another type of cylinder that we use is what we call a power cylinder, and that's the power option on the STP or the Extreme. And what that looks like is a cylinder that is very similar to this, what I have here in my hand. So it's a modular here with, which activates uh, by power command, depending on uh, your upward or lower movement. Uh, this is mounted to the chair and as you can see uh, it's a little bit more heavy duty so this type of a cylinder requires customization on our STP or extreme uh, to be mounted on the chair so we'd have to uh, weld additional mounts on the chair. So this is something that cannot be retrofitted out in the field. This would have to be ordered factory direct from Power Plus. Alongside the cylinder, there are two other components that come with it. One is that battery pack, in which the cylinder module plugs directly into the battery, and it also plugs into the hand control device in through here. This device is easily plugged into any external wall uh, for charging with the long cord, so you're able to charge it. Weight capacity on the cylinder is approximately 440 pounds. We like to promote it at 400 pounds for safekeeping. Uh, and depending on the weight of the client or where they are positioned in the chair, uh, it's very difficult to, de to determine the amount of lifts you'll get out of one charge. So these are the, this is the battery component to the power lift option. The handheld component looks like this. So 
So we have two modules, either down or upward momentum, with a clip on the back of it that clips on the side of the chair, the arm, or the stroller handles, and we're able to um, activate the power tilt option in through this. The whole purpose of this is to allow for the client to have more independence and be able to tilt the chair on their own and perhaps help self-propel the chair if they can. Thank you.